all right so we are in photoshop let's go for 1080 by 1350 all right that's going to be simple and easy let's bring this image so let's add let's go to filter and blur gaussian blur all right so let's say seven pixels or six pixels cool click ok now let's bring this image before we change the blend mode let's hide this guy select the first background hit ctrl b for color balance and let's push it to the yellows all right uh, click ok now let's turn this guy back on select and change the blend mode to screen all right now let's bring this guy okay so let's maintain the size i guess now let's add layer mask grab the brush your foreground should be black okay and your flow you can tweak the flow up here okay and that's it so let's resize the right size and clean now let's select the layer below this guy which is the background and let's bring this guy okay so let's bring it somewhere here click ok change it to linear dodge or screen but let's pick uh no let's pick screen okay all right now let's lock it cool all right so let's select the topmost layer grab the type to t on the keyboard click and let's type thanksgiving so it's going to be caps thanks and then you hit enter come down and then giving okay all right hit control enter to x keep typing now control t and let's scale it then let's go to window and you have character so this pops up click change it to white now the font that i'm going to use is news flash okay all right so control t and then let's scale manually so you're going to have something like this once we got it like this we have to adjust the tracking but before that let's highlight this guy and then come over here let's increase the size a little okay so that's cool you can drop this and choose from here so if it is over overlapping then you increase it okay so we are 36 i can make it let's see 38 all right now let's grab the move tool okay so with the move tool select this text and control t right click and we have skew over here so we are just going to skew this up like that okay that's all we are going to do now let's add a little drop shadow so let's go to select the times giving text fx and then blend and options so we got drop shadow over here and i think okay so the angle 90 and the opacity let's reduce the opacity a little so maybe 35 18 for the distance and 15 for the size for the size let's reduce the size 10 13 15 okay as a graphic designer you've come across motion flyers if not that's what i mean So what you are seeing right here were static flyers brought to life in adobe after effects and i'm sure you want to know more about this hi there i'm emmanuel and welcome to the ultimate flyer animation crash course with cool graphics from 2d to 3d flyer animation in adobe after effect now let's grab the rectangle to okay click and drag to create a rectangle all right so let's choose dark red or shade shade of red all right 
so with this let me place it somewhere here okay and same way ctrl t right click and we can even have perspective like this so with the perspective selected when you click and drag this you can have some something like this okay so i'm going to place this guy here and but i'll right click again and then skew the side up all right now type services and place it on the red carpet <laughs> and uh the font that i'm using is Montserrat. okay but we are going to use the alternate version of Montserrat. so in the character panel just click this guy the aa with the arrow on top the stylistic alternate that's the alternative um one of Montserrat. okay so we are going to place this on top like that now duplicate the services ctrl j to duplicate hide the first one right click oh sorry right click on the layer instead and rasterize the type now ctrl t right click and you have perspective let's big it up all right so that is that or oh, let me just push it up with the arrow key all right and let me just zo let me zoom in okay and right click skew let's bring this guy down a little and this guy here all right it's not that perspective view though but let's let's keep it this way no don't do that all right so let's just bring it down a little so we are going to add a uh, drop shadow on the red okay red sh uh, shade sh <laughs> red carpet <laughs> so let me push it up a little and select the red carpet okay this is the red carpet layer and let's go to fx and blending options drop shadow okay so with that with this one let's increase the opacity and decrease that distance and decrease the uh, size probably subtle difference but we'll keep it like that good so if you have a theme for the service you can place it here if not when you get when you get rid of that order there's nothing here then you can shift these guys down to center it okay you can bring them here and center align cool all right so sh should i add any okay let me put this there all right cool so let's let's continue and there is another change that i want to make so let's select the thanks text okay and let's duplicate ctrl j hide the bottom one and then rasterize the top one uh, okay and ctrl t right click and let's perspective this guy up so let's squeeze the side down a little and pick up the side <laughs> that's okay all right big ups to anyone watching this video all right so that is that, that that's cool let's select the topmost layer and let's grab ellipse okay so let's create okay so let's double click and copy this color code now let's add stroke so come here click this okay and pick white you can double click here and pick white from here all right so the size we can make it five let's see five is good not five is bad let's <laughs> let's make it eight and see okay so eight is cool let's duplicate one to the right okay and let's send it below the first one and let's change the color so kindly copy this color for that okay all right so i got the text on all right now let's scroll down and grab the rectangle tool let's create some rectangle down here okay and let's round the corners so the color i'm sampling a color from here so you can copy this color code okay in the properties if you can find the properties go to window and we got properties you get it here okay so let's round the corners now uh, ctrl t and let's scale it up a little okay and back in the properties let's not make it that round okay so that's cool now let's select these guys all these guys let's add this guy and bring them down so this guy let's push him up a little. ok 
okay so that was cool and this one we got the church auditorium opposite landmark all right now let's scroll down and select the glue this glue guy okay and let's bring the drum okay so let's bring this guy now hit ctrl j to duplicate ctrl t right click flip horizontal and bring one here all right so let's add the last guy before we make it pop okay so let's select the topmost layer and let's bring this guy so just right click and flip vertical all right and place this guy here now let's add let's go to filter and then black Gaussian blur all right so let's say two pixels we don't want to make it all right so uh 3.534 it's okay okay so let's bring this guy let's make it bigger let's change the blend mode to screen all right so hold alt click and drag to duplicate one here all right now let's create a new layer on top okay and change the blend mode to screen and let's grab the brush and pick this color right here so with that my flow is at 100 and opacity at 100 i'll click on the box okay so click on this guy click 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 all right now let's bring this guy no let's bring this guy first and let's change the blend mode to screen and then let's bring this guy and last guy we, we have over here this guy let's bring him let's change the blend mode to screen all right so that's the end of this video thanks for watching kindly like subscribe and i'm out peace